I was looking to form a band based on my favorite band, UFO, and I was trying to find musicians who were into the same stuff I was, which was, you know, UFO, Iron Maiden, Motorhead, Judas Priest, Venom. So one night I was at a party in Berkeley and I saw this guy and he had an Iron Maiden uh, button on and I came up to him and I said, hey man, are you into uh, Iron Maiden? He goes, oh, they rule. I go, what's your name? He says, my name is Paul Bailoff. I go, ever heard of UFO? And he goes, yeah, I've heard of UFO and started singing Rock Bottom to me. And Rock Bottom was one of the songs I was interested in covering in, in my, my, my band. And I said, well, hey man. Give me your number and uh, and uh, we'll jam. And so he gave me his number, and the next day he came down and uh, he sang with the early uh, early version of Exodus, and he sang Rock Bottom. And you know he didn't have the best uh, voice in the world, but he had tons of charisma, and he was the funniest guy in the world. And he knew the music, and he knew what we were shooting for. And that was good enough for me. And uh, the great thing about Paul is when when we f played our first show at uh, a Metal Monday at the old Waldorf. It was actually the first time I'd uh, we'd played with with uh, Metallica too. I you know I was just I was just so blown away on on how well he worked the stage. I mean, for someone who had very little band experience or stage experience, he really knew what he was doing and he felt very comfortable on stage and uh... it was just, he was just a great front man and like I said, w w w you know, for all his shortcomings that he had with it in the vocal department, he made up for just in sheer charisma and uh... and he was just a, a very very good performer he said the funniest things on stage and he was just one of the funniest guys I knew and um... I think one of the best memories I have of Paul is um, one night we were sitting around in his car drinking vodka straight from the bottle listening to Venom and Merciful Fate and we were drunk and we were just you know saying how much we, 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 we loved each other and you know how, how great it was to finally have a band playing the type of music we wanted to, to, to play and we all just uh, all of a sudden decided that we, we should just uh, immortalize it and so someone whipped out a, a razor blade and we started cutting up our hands in fact there's my scar right there if you can see it <laughs> can you see that scar? anyway I have a scar right there I cut my hand Gary Holt cut his hand Tom Hunting cut his hand and Paul Bailoff cut his hand and we all rubbed the blood together and we were all bonded by blood and then shortly after that came the song Bonded by Blood but yeah that scar right there is in memory of Paul Bailoff now and um yeah he was just just a, a, a great guy, a great person and he was one of the most extreme front men I knew, I, or I, I should say he grew to be one of the most extreme front men in metal I think if you weren't totally metal you would be ostracized by Paul from the stage he'd point people out in the audience and say you're a fag get the hell out of here or that guy is not banging kick his ass he kind of uh, he kind of fostered that whole attitude of being just really extreme and he lived for metal Last Friday, I got a, uh, actually, yeah, it was last Friday, I got a phone call from my brother-in-law saying that he was in the hospital. So I called the hospital, and he said that, uh, actually, I got a hold of Rick Hunolt, which was the other guitar player in Exodus, and he told me that Paul just went for a bike ride, came back, his girlfriend went down to, to lock up the bikes, and by the time she came back up, he was already in the throes of a seizure. So they called 911, they brought him to the hospital and he was already deep in it and uh, by the time I, I spoke to Rick he said there was no brain activity. So I pretty much knew that you know when that happens there's no turning back. You're, it's only one way to go. 
And you know, it's a, it's a big loss, at least in my life it is, because, you know, it, Paul set me on, on my way to a certain extent, you know, he, he was uh, the one missing link, link, he was the one missing link in the, in my first metal band, and, and when I had found him, I, 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 you know, I thought to myself, you know, all we can go is up from here. And he's just an amazingly funny guy, very intelligent, very loyal, and do anything for his friends. It's, uh, it's, it's just a shame, and I'll miss him. But at least we have the first Exodus album. Thank God for that. <laughs> and uh, one of my favorite lines that Paul Bailoff ever said was when he was introducing an Exodus, al uh, Exodus song on their last live album. The line went, the song is older than shit, heavier than time. I thought that was such a great line. That's why I like to think of him, heavier than time. See you, Paul.